The 2019 Lamborghini Urus truly is the Lambo of SUVs. The brand's second utility vehicle after the 1980s LMO02 takes the super SUV to entirely new levels. Lamborghini's first SUV, the unmistakably 80s LMO02, was a military grid brute powered by a screaming V12 engine. While it seemed completely offbeat at the time, it turned out to be prescient given today's ever-expanding array of ultra-luxury, high-performance SUVs from the likes of Bentley, Mercedes-Benz, Porsche, Maserati, and, soon, Ferrari and Aston Martin. So there's no time like the present for Lamborghini to jump back into the fray with the 2019 Urus. The company's second-ever SUV is over the top too, but for completely different reasons than the LMO02. The Urus, which derives its name from an ancient species of cattle, stuns with its 641 horsepower, its dramatic wedge-shaped silhouette, and its ambition to be as capable around a racetrack as it is on the sand dunes. Under the hood is the first turbocharged engine ever to be installed in a production Lamborghini and the first V8 in many decades. It shares its 4.0-liter displacement and twin turbochargers with the V8 installed in many other Volkswagen Group products, but Lamborghini insists that the design is its own acclaim augmented by the V8's distinctive sound. Output sits at 641 horsepower and 627 pounds FT of torque, each number second among sport youths only to the decidedly lower end, 707 horsepower Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. The years also will eventually debut Lamborghini's first hybrid driver train, although we don't yet know any details about the gas electric model. The underpinnings of the Urus aren't as distinctly Italian as its V8, as it shares the Volkswagen Group's MLB platform used in the Audi Q7, the Porsche Cayenne, and the Bentley Bentayga. At 201.3 inches long, and riding on a 118.2-inch wheelbase, the Urus is 1.7 inches longer than the Q7 and 7.4 inches longer than the Cayenne Turbo. And at 64.5 inches high and 79.4 inches wide, the Urus is quite a bit lower in water than the Q7 and the Cayenne. Lamborghini assures us that the Urus will outperform each of those corporate cousins, with a claimed top speed of 190 mph, 3 mph higher than the Bentayga, and a reported 0 to 62 mph time of 3.6 seconds. Of course. The Lamborghini will feature its own chassis tuning too, and rear wheel steering and an air suspension that offers up to 9.8 inches of ground clearance are part of the package. The all-wheel drive system uses a locking center differential with a default 40-60 front rear power split that can send up to 70% of the torque to the front or up to 87% to the rear. A rear differential allows for torque vectoring capability. The carbon ceramic brakes are absolutely enormous with rudders measuring 17.3 inches in front and 14.6 inches in the rear, the better to decelerate the roughly 48-50 pound Urus. A lineup of driving modes including Corsa, Race, Sabia, Sand, and Neve, Snow, will diversify the Lambo's skill set. In Corsa, for instance, the all-wheel drive system routes more power to the rear, and the torque vectoring and stability control thresholds allow for a bit more slip. In Sabia, the stability control is similarly recalibrated to accommodate the low grip surface. Good luck off-roading, though, with the Urus's available 23-inch wheels mounted on unique Pirelli summer tires, size 285 35ths R23 in the front and 325 30ths R23 in back. 21 and 22 inches will be available too, as will all season rubber. Predictably, the interior takes a form above function approach, with numerous exotic leather, wood, carbon fiber and metal trim options available. Screens are everywhere, including a large digital gauge cluster, a fairly conventional-looking central infotainment display, and a lower control touchscreen that is reminiscent of the unit in Range Rover's new Veeler. Sitting inside the Urus, we found rear seat room to be adequate, although headroom is a bit pinched by the slope roof line. Both four and five seat configurations are available, while the roof line and the sharply raked lift gate mean that the cargo area is deep but not tall. When it goes on sale in the United States late next year, the years will share space with the Huracan at the entry level end of the Lamborghini lineup, as it will start at roughly the same $200,000 as that V10 supercar. A vast expansion of Lamborghini's factory in its hometown of Santiago de Bolognese, Italy, already has been completed to build the Urus as the company expects to considerably increase its annual production output with the SUV's addition to its portfolio. After all, among luxury brands, super SUVs are all the rage right now, 
And this Italian is shaping up to be one of the most super of all.